Hello my little cybermates, this is Con. Today I'll be showing you how to get more performance in Cyberpunk 2077 either you have a low end system, medium or high end. Before we get started make sure you smash that like button, hey click that subscribe button and uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch, I uh, do some streams over there, Cyberpunk 27 and other, and other games. So yeah let's get to it. First things first, there are couple things you can do before we start the game in Windows so we can get more performance. First thing you can do is switch off game mode in Windows as uh, some games have issues with it. So to find the game mode just click start, game mode, game mode settings, enter and you're here. Make sure to switch that off. Another thing you can do in Windows is to disable Xbox Game Bar. So just type Xbox Game Bar in Start and you'll get this. Make sure to switch it off as it can eat up our resources. Last thing you can do before we get in the game is to turn off recording in the background. Some uh, systems are run by default, so you have to just switch, turn it off. And uh, that's it. Now let's go to the game and there are some settings there we can adjust to get our performance. So we are here in the settings. First thing you do before you start the game, before you load up a game, because these settings can only be changed before the game is loaded. Go to settings, go to gameplay. And the first thing you'll see that we can adjust is crowd density. The more, the higher the crowd density, the harder your system needs to work to produce those characters. So low end system, of course, you're going to go for low. Medium, go for medium. High, go for high. But like I got a 2070. I take 2070 and I got it on medium. I find that's like the sweet spot. So it's not too much. It's not too crowded, but still have some people around. Now, the other setting that we have to adjust before we load the game is texture quality. Texture quality has a great impact on your frames. So if you have a low end system, go with low. 100% go with low. You'll see a massive frame boost. 2070, I can get away with high. If you got a, let's say you got um, a 1060, you can go with medium. 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, you can go with high. Next, we have field of view. This doesn't make a difference in uh, performance, but I just like 90. The default, I think, is uh, 80 or 85. I prefer 90 on all my games. So, yeah. Film grain, if you like it, switch it on. If you don't like it, switch it off. Doesn't make a difference. As does chromatic aberration. Doesn't make much of a difference. Depth of field, I prefer it off. Uh, it's a personal preference. Makes, like, little difference, like 1% to 2% in uh, so it doesn't matter. Lens flare and also motion blur. I prefer lens uh, flare on. Gives it that that immersive effect. So maybe one percent difference in frames. So it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's 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 nothing. So we go to advanced settings. Contact shadows. You can leave them on. Minimal difference. Improve facial lighting geometry. This one is. Uh, has some impact like uh, maybe three or four percent on your frames so it's good to leave it on if you have a like a good enough system you'll see the difference in uh, the character's face anisotropy you can leave this to 16 i don't see any difference in, on my system so i've even tried it on my uh 9070 GTX and still doesn't make a difference so you can leave it at 16 
So here is where it gets interesting. From local shadow mesh quality all the way down to ambient occlusion have a high impact on your frames. So my suggestion is if you have a low end system, you can get all the way low on all of these. Trust me, it doesn't make a lot of difference. Doesn't make a lot of difference. If you can get away with medium, you can leave the fog resolution to low. Also the cloud quality, you can leave it to, you can even leave it to off. So, so you, you never look up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Then we have ambient occlusion. This makes one hell of a difference in graphics. If you got a good graphics card, you can get away with uh, high or even medium, but low end graphics, switch, just low end graphics, just leave it off or low. Mirror quality, you can leave it to high because, uh, well, you're not going to be looking in the mirror out of a lot, so you can get away with it. Level of detail. This has a, I would say, about three to four frames from low to high. So you can get away with high if you can. Now, the fun stuff. If you have a RTX card, I would still suggest just leave ray tracing off and enable DLSS to quality. This will get you a massive FPS boost, like massive, I'm telling you, about like 40 frames. So trust me, you would want this on, on to quality. Don't, don't uh, go to performance, don't set it to performance, don't set it to ultra performance because the quality will be quality will be shit so trust me don't don't go below quality the only reason you would want to go balanced if you're on 1440p or 4k that's the only reason because it scales um it takes let's say you got you got on 1440p quality setting balance setting will be rendered at 1080p and upscale to 1440. If you really want, want ray tracing on, try not to go crazy on your settings. My suggestion, medium settings, let's say you got a 2060 RTX, go to medium settings lighting and uh, if you were to switch off one of these settings or if you were if you were to leave on one of these settings i would go with reflections that will like uh you see you'll notice it you'll notice the reflections shadows not so much but reflections you'll notice it a lot of uh beautiful locations in the game Oh yeah, one more thing, turns VSync off and if you really want to set a cap on your frames, do it with maximum FPS, like uh, my screen is 144, set it to 144, if your screen is, if your screen is 60, set it to 60. So that about wraps it up for quality settings, so thanks for watching. Happy gaming, and don't forget to follow, subscribe, press the like, follow me about Twitch. I uh, hope to see you there when I stream, and uh, yep, peace out.